Well, RTV6 is gearing up for a major milestone next week, 70 years on the air in central Indiana. And in preparation for our anniversary, we've been taking you on a stroll down memory lane through the RTV6 archive. You've seen some familiar faces, including one celebrating 40 years with RTV6, Derek Thomas. Check out this tough assignment he was given in 1982 leading up to the Indy 500. The lid's off, hats are in and on. Each of the souvenir tents like this one sell about 100 pieces of headgear a day during the month of May. And on race day, there will be 78 such tents, ready to cover a staggering amount of heads. The chapeaus are diverse, from helmets to bonnets to baseball caps. But more than anything else, they strive to be functional. ABC technician John Smith selected the right hat for a big job. Why do you wear it? To keep my head from catching the sun. <laughs> American ingenuity is not lost on the great head cover-up, and Scott Warren, a Speedway regular since attending his first race in 1946, has found a cheap solution to the head wrap problem. It's my T-shirt, and uh, my head, uh, my head is pretty bald, and uh, you know when I get to my son, you know I just use my T-shirt for a cap. While some easily find their headpiece niche, some are a little confused. Others have a job to do and a hat to do it in. Another thing about this hat phenomenon is that it appears to be infectious. And in the words of Porky Pig, hats all, folks. Derek Thomas for the news. Channel 6. <laughs> that was awesome. Where can I get one of those Channel 6 hats? Hmm. Maybe Derek's. Does. Right, I asked Derek if he's still got it. These daily trips down memory lane lead up to our May 30th and our one hour special at 7 p.m. 70 years together working for you. You can also find more memories from former WRTV staff at the IndyChannel.com slash 70 years.